Mather. Hi, I'm Jake Bates, and we're going to be here, and we're going to teach you how to make an Indian salad. All right, the ingredients for the uh, Indian salad we're going to be preparing is we're first going to start with some carrot. Then we're going to take some tomatoes. And then we're going to use some cucumber. A little bit of cilantro. A couple of turnips, as you can see here. A little bit of green chili, not too much. Some lemons and some limes. Spice. And last but not least, some salt and some pepper. Alright, and as we can see here, Mo is actually uh, chopping some of the potato, uh, tomatoes for the first step of the process. They are known as tomatoes in uh, Hindi. Not that I actually know the language, but I guess I know a little bit. And um, yeah, they're actually very delicious. They're usually a key ingredient in most Indian dishes. And now we have chopped all the tomatoes and we are going to start putting them in our dish. As you can see, we're going to kind of like make a pattern with them with these larger slice cuts in the middle. We're going to uh, kind of like make a flower looking object with the petals surrounding it. If uh, you want to make this for a lot of people, I'd suggest two tomatoes like we've cut up. Maybe even more for larger parties or such. But uh, tomatoes, if they're fresh, they're a great source of uh, nutrients and they're just incredibly healthy for you. No one's ever gotten fat off eating uh, fruits and vegetables, so I highly recommend them. Anything you want to add, Mo? Yeah, they taste good. Yeah, they taste definitely good. Most uh, most Americans, we eat salsa, we eat pizza. They, they're all tomato-based products. People, uh, for some reason, just don't like eating them by themselves, but I find them quite yeah. delicious on their own. So uh, let's keep just stacking up this tomato. And As I said before, this is a very big staple of most Indian food. And you know, the salad's no exception. Sometimes you can find tomatoes in American salads, but not in, you know, this amount, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate, because they're usually very healthy. And all right, as we finish up putting the rest of the tomato on the uh, tray right here, we have, a, we have a lime, and there's a little incision right here. What we're going to do is we're going to squeeze the lime, and we're actually going to just put a little bit of... Uh, lime juice over the tomatoes to add a little bit of zest and flavor as this is uh, found in most traditional Indian foods to help give it some flavor. And once you sprinkle a little bit on that, we're going to add some, uh, some pepper and some salt. So just a little bit and then you spin this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. There we go. Just a little bit of pepper. And the first step of the Indian salad is already complete. There we go. Before we go into the next step, we're going to add a bit of spices to these tomatoes, and this spice is called chaat masala. It's very delicious, and uh, it's, in, it's in some Indian food, but yeah, it's very good. You don't really find it in much American food. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to add some carrots as the next step, and um, as we all know, carrots are very healthy. They contain beta carotene in them, which is very healthy for your body and usually helps um, fight against cancers of the sort and other, you know, things with carrots that help is it improves eyesight and et cetera, et cetera. It's just healthy. Anything you want to add, Jake? Yeah, we're also using very thick slices. You can size them however you want. You can get them really fine. Yeah. You can use circle cuts. We really don't care. We just prefer the we, long yeah. cuts. And uh, yeah. as Mo previously said, very healthy for you. Very good foods. Next ingredient to our Indian salad is the cucumber. Yeah, here's a cucumber right here. As you can tell, I've already started some slicing just to get some practice in. But um, as you can tell, you want to find a really green cucumber. You want it to uh, be nice and ripe. Hopefully, you can get some of the skin off, or it can break. Yeah. Either way, either way, it can either it can do one of the two. But you want to find some uh, nice green skin on it. That way, you can tell it's really healthy. And you just want to peel away at the skin. Just do it gently. You don't want to cut yourself, always cut away from you. And uh, we're making a little bit of progress here as it breaks again, as you can see. Um, let's try be, a different... Be careful while you're cutting yeah, these. Be incredibly careful. You may use a sharp tool, not too sharp. Um, usually most people peel potatoes with these. But... Alright, after uh, that debacle of cucumber peeling, we finally have our cucumbers ready to uh, cut. You can use any kind of knife, just but make sure uh, you don't cut yourself, make small cuts. You want a, just a nice clean cut, 
and uh, you you want to put them on a plate first, Mo? Is there a reason why we're putting them on a plate? Yeah, we're putting them on the, on the plate right now because uh, cucumbers is what takes out the most water, especially when you add salt to the cucumbers. So right now we're just going to cut them off and place them on a plate and add them later so that the uh, salad doesn't get soggy. Yeah, and you can always cut cucumbers to different thickness. I know uh, I'm pretty inconsistent as it goes, but just make sure, once again, be careful of your thumb and fingers and because uh, it can really mess your fingers up. The last thing you want to do is go to the hospital while you're uh, mm -hmm. chopping up any fruit or vegetable for any kind of salad. Yeah, personally, I think this about um, slices are the best kind of cucumbers. But whatever is your fantasy. Yeah, if some of you people actually like the skin of a cucumber, you don't have to peel it. Whatever floats your boat. I just know uh, that rigid texture sometimes leaves a bad aftertaste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we got the rest of the cucumbers all cut up and uh, we're just going to put them to a side for the moment. Mm -hmm. ah. And now we're going to add some salt. And a little bit of pepper, too. And some chopped masala. And we're just going to let them dry. Alright, so by now the water has um, come out of the cucumbers. And um, we're ready to actually use them. So we're going to mm -hmm. sieve out the uh, water that got left. Mm -hmm. behind. As you can see here, we're just uh, going to pour it over the sink so all the water comes out. And dep Depending on how many cucumbers you have, uh, about 10 to 20 minutes or so to get them all out. And uh, before we continue, we're going to wash our hands because yeah. we actually have to put the cucumbers down. So just rinse them off real good real quickly. And now the cucumbers should have the salt and spices on them, and we're going to do it. We're just going to lay them over the salad. Over salad. We're going to continue with the uh, flower type of design. I right, said so we have a lot of cucumbers, so we're going to have to put some in the middle. And also the reason why we let the cucumber strain is because you don't want to get the uh, dish too watery. Right. That way you can uh, preserve all the flavor and just make sure that it tastes the best it can be, especially for big parties. Mm -hmm. All right, and with that, all the cucumber is uh, placed on there. Okay. That's pretty much part two of the salad. Next, we're going to cut some cilantro for the dish. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is you want to kind of like uh, bring it around half and pinch down on it and just give it a couple, mm -hmm. just cut it through and get it all yeah. nice and somewhat diced. Once right. again, be careful of your fingers. Use a, a smaller knife to get all this cut up and uh, just be careful when you come to the end. Then once it's all cut up like that, make sure it's uh, nice sizable pieces. You want to make sure that the things like the stem are not in there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not not very tasty. Yeah. So, and then, go ahead, Mo. Yeah. And um, yeah, we can just spray them around. And uh, it's very healthy for you, as all green vegetables are. The whole dish really is healthy for you. I mean, there's not a single ingredient in here that would make anyone fat or anything like that. You guys think to say? Or about that? Yeah. 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 All right, and the next step of uh, the salad process is complete. So um, as we come to our final steps, uh, we're just going to put symbolically a piece of green, green chili here. Um, in most Indian dishes, a green chili is served on the side to eat along with the dish. But, um, it's very healthy, it has a lot of vitamin C, but we're not going to put it actually in the salad because it's extremely spicy and I don't think anyone wants to get their tongues burned. But if you're making this at home, put as much or as little as you'd like. Mm -hmm. And then we're also, for more decoration and symbolically, we're going to be putting the... Uh radishes in here because they, they just stink when you cut them, they're kind of like an onion, but what, what you want to do is you just want to place them around the edge, kind of make a square or circle out of them, and it just it, it makes the dish look a little bit more presentable. Uh, if you're serve, you want to cut the radish really when, when just when you're about to serve it, so if you're making them for a party or whatever, just 
uh, you can cut it then, but like if you're making it for a day or two ahead, do not cut it at the time. Mm -hmm. And then for one of our final stages, you, you can take a lemon, you can take a lime, you can take either one, it you really take doesn't both. matter. But you're just going to want to cut it in two fourths, some big slices. And once you're done cutting, what you're going to do is you're going to place them around the dish, kind of like that. And uh, it, it looks like decoration, but some people like the zest of the flavor. And what they can do is they can pick it up and put it on their own portion just as they please. Squeeze it you just squeeze it a little bit. Again, you can do it with a uh, lemon, limes, both. It really doesn't matter. But uh, we've come to the conclusion, and the the salad's pretty much. Uh, I mean, it's created. It's it's tastes delicious, and it's extremely extremely healthy for you. It's it's very healthy for you. I mean, it. it it, it reduces blood pressure, it fights against diabetes, cancer, heart disease, etc. Just as you can see, it's all colored vegetables and fruits, and it's, you know, it's just very healthy for the body. Really, it doesn't really do anything harmful. You want to say anything, Jake? Yeah, I mean, you you can just tell by the color of the reds, the greens, the oranges, the kind of purple, the. the uh... I mean, it just it comes together nicely. It's going to be low in calories, relatively speaking. It doesn't have that really fat-heavy dressing that mm, other and, Amer American um, salads have. The dress, if you want more like dressing type, you can just add lime or the chopped salt, salt, pepper. That's really mm -hmm. Indian Indian salads don't have dressing, which adds to the healthiness because mm -hmm. a lot of the unhealthiness of American salads comes from the dressing. In Indian uh, salad, you can just add your lime and that's really your dressing mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's vegan and vegetarian friendly obviously it's anybody can eat it it tastes mm -hmm. great yeah and just one last thing you saw us put a lot of cilantro on there you want to use it sparingly um, no one really likes the taste of it I know in American society we only use it for presentation yeah. you don't want to overpower right. any of the food with it but as you can tell it's a nice balanced dish and um, you just put it in the refrigerator serve it when it's ready and Anyone, anyone can snack down on it. So, I think with that, that comes to a conclusion. Yep. So, yeah, you know, let's just squeeze some lemon, really, and that's really a final step. Just putting as much or as little lemon as you'd like. It's, it's your Indian salad. Yeah. All right.